Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjaga video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing some statements made over on Ninjago Twitter by Tommy Kalmar, who, in case you guys don't know, is a Lego IP story expert, obviously working at Lego, and he has a huge influence over the Ninjago series. And recently, myself and many other Ninjago fans have been talking with Tommy Kalmar, talking about the quest for the Lost Powers book. And yes, for those of you guys wondering, according to the Ninjago wiki, the character of Kalmar is named named after Tommy Kalmar. So this dude is a pretty serious figure in the Ninjago scene. Now, like I said, he's been responding a lot to people who are talking about the quest for the Lost Powers book, and he actually did reply to a few of my own videos. He provided some interesting commentary surrounding the quest for the Lost Powers book. So in today's video, I just wanna go over what he said. I will be leaving a link down below in the description to his Twitter account. Feel free to follow him, awesome guy. So the first tweet that we're gonna be taking a look at is this one right here, where he states the quest for the Lost Powers is finally out, have been working on this for a long time, the canon miniseries in book form of how each of the four original ninja coped with the situation of being powerless, four very different tales. Now this tweet does confirm that the book is canon, just in case the multiple videos of me telling you guys that it is canon wasn't convincing enough. Here it is in black and white, the book is canon. You guys should probably check it out if you have not done so already. And another tweet, where Tommy Kalmar responds directly to my We Won, Kai, and Skylar ship is confirmed video, he says the following. The ending of that story has spin-off potential. I thought that was a pretty interesting statement. I can only imagine what a Kai and Skylar spin-off story would look like. I mean, who's to say that along the way to the monastery following the end of that story, they wouldn't come across some other adventure. Maybe they could go on another quest. Who's to say? I agree, spin-off potential is totally there. Would not mind seeing a whole book dedicated to Kai and Skylar, just having fun to together as a couple now since we know that they are officially confirmed to be a couple thanks to the quest for the lost powers book and another tweet that he made responds directly to another video that i made uh talking about the possible downfall of ninjago just based on the fact that now we have canon books to follow alongside the ninjago tv series and perhaps ninjago fans would find that too complicated or too complex to follow in response to that here's what tommy kalmar had to say the book format allows us to slow down and dwell at character stories not always something that we have time for in the tv show that needs to deliver on so many aspects. It's added quality, less about adding complexity, distribution is always a topic, downfall, no, it's next level. This tweet was actually the one that inspired me to make this video just because I found this tweet to be so insightful. I feel like from the perspective of somebody who's actually working on these stories, that's awesome to hear. It's awesome to see that in some cases the books are superior, in the sense that they can apply more to the Ninjago characters than the show can at times. And looking at this tweet even further, I mean he's right, the story itself, the Quest for the Lost Powers book does slow down and address each individual ninja, I can't imagine the Ninjago series doing that. The Ninjago series pretty much just highlights the team, and while certain seasons are based around a certain character, the book is next level, like Tommy Kalmar said. Like I've always said, I hardly have an issue with Ninjago books, especially the canon ones. I think it's awesome that Ninjago as a storyline can expand outside of the TV show, but also, like I said, I feel like a lot of Ninjago fans are not going to be reading the books just because it's not the show, and I feel like that's it's just a huge missed opportunity for Ninjago fans. I still think that canon books have a welcome place in the Ninjago timeline, and like I said, I would be open to many, many more in the near future. Fingers crossed that eventually does happen. So with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching. I just thought this was interesting to talk about, again, just showcasing the perspective of somebody who actually works at LEGO and how that might differ from a Ninjago fan's perspective. Thank you very much, Tommy Kalmar, for checking out my videos. I appreciate that. And thank you very much for the civil conversation over on Twitter. Can't wait to see what else you guys do for Ninjago in the future. And with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below discussing what you think about all of this, and I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks a lot for watching. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Peace.